Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a quick book review about a book I just finished called Beneath the Stairs by Jennifer Fawcett. And this book was released on February 22nd by Atria Books. And I was uh, lucky enough to get a copy for review from NetGalley. So thank you to Atria Books and NetGalley for providing that for me to do this review. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love haunted house stories. They are my favorite kind of books. And this, this story, Beneath the Stairs, combines two of my favorite things, thrillers and haunted house story. There is a very supernatural uh, haunted house side of this book, but it did feel, uh, mostly have a thriller feel to it for me, more than a horror feel. But I loved the premise of this book and I was very excited for a supernatural thriller. The fact that the supernatural bit comes with a haunted house was just icing on the cake. It, I knew I had to read this one. And Beneath the Stairs follows two girls in a dual timeline, um, both when they are young teenagers, like 13 or 14, and their experiences in this haunted house called the Octagon House. And it is very traumatic for them. And then it also follows the same girls when they are grown women 20 years later down the road. One of the girls goes back into the haunted house and attempts suicide and is in a coma. This book is uh, a lot about the characters involved. There are a lot of heavy topics topics covered in this story and um, a lot of the issues that these girls have had to deal with because of the trauma, guilt, whatever associated with their experience in the Octagon House as young girls. Although there is a timeline where they are younger, this book did not feel YA. It felt very like an adult book. And we follow Claire as she tries to figure out why Abby would go back into the house and she does not think it was to commit suicide. Abby leaves her a note saying, Uh, some clues as to why she was going back to the house. So she, Claire is trying to figure out the history of the house and what Abby was doing concerning it. Claire is dealing with her own marital issues because of a recent miscarriage and has a lot on her plate and on her mind other than this haunted house. Abby has been dealing with mental illness ever since her first run-in with this house. So a lot of the story is about their backstories and their lives and the things that they are dealing with they are very heavy topics, as you can tell, so there are some trigger warnings involved in this book, but I love the mix of thriller and horror. I think that this was a great way to mix the two genres. I really liked the mystery of trying to figure out more about this house and its history. There was also a bit of a romantic storyline 
weaved into this story and I don't necessarily think it was necessary in this book. I don't hate romance in books. I know some people don't want to see it, but I don't mind. In fact, I like it. This had an element of cheating in it though. Not a fan. Like if you want your romance to be a cute and likable one, I don't think it should involve cheating. <laughs> well, there you go. The atmosphere of the haunted house was great, very spooky and claustrophobic feeling, um, especially in the basement. So if you're afraid of closed off places or the dark, like this will be pretty spooky, <laughs> probably. I really liked those parts and I did like learning more about these girls' lives. I think could have done without the romantic storyline and it would have been fantastic. So I ended up giving Beneath the Stairs four stars out of five. Have you read this book? Heard about it? Do you want to read it? Let me know down in the comments and I will be back very soon with another book related video. Thanks.